Hello, this is Green Gimp. This will be part 3.1 of our walkthrough. We just finished Liberation Panzer, and now we gotta do a little housekeeping. Somehow I screwed up and sold, I believe, the um, dragon. So that's fine. I didn't mean to do it, but I did. Um, I wasn't gonna use it anyway because I don't like the dragon as a chassis. So no real big deal, but it is what it is. Um, what we need to do is we need to repair the Shadow Hawk. However, I'm gonna take this opportunity to throw on one of the new SRMs we got. We looted a very nice SRM. So when we go and repair everything, we're also going to let him switch over to this. It's got plus two damage and plus one to stability. So the plus two damage on the SRM doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider it base does 8 damage 6 times. Now it's going to do 10 damage 6 times. So that plus 2 damage actually brought the damage of one volley of this from 48 to 60. So that's a pretty big deal. That's a 25% boost. So that's a really nice upgrade. Um, so we're going to get that going. Right. I'll get we will have time. our Wolverine here repair itself. And now, we're going to look at our contracts. We're going to be doing this one. And we don't have a main mission here. So whenever you do a mission and you need another, and you need a main mission to keep going, you want to try and do every side mission at the planet you're at. Because traveling costs money. Because in this game, time is money. So we're going to do these two missions because they're right here. After we're done with these, we'll take stock of where we are. We may travel here and do all the missions there before doing the next mission, or we may just jump in. Um, how much side mission farming you do is going to depend on how comfortable how comfortable you feel going to the next mission. So we don't have four mechs ready to use yet, so we're just going to progress for the four days so I can get the Shadowhawk. The you asked for are online, Commander. And actually, we need to upgrade our engineering. So we finished that, so that's great. Um, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab our training modules. Sure this will let our take a bit, unupgraded we'll pilots start leveling themselves without us having to do it for them. So, we're just going to continue until I get my Shadowhawk. I'll stop time here and we will take our contract. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, big, the one with the most salvage first. Um, purely because it's going to give me a better chance at a mech a mech upgrade that I particularly want. Um, it'll be a recovery mission, so we're going to have to go grab a piece of something or a person, and it's Tundra, so we should have zero heat problems in this mission. Um, I guess I'm going to need a Shadowhawk. And where is my missile guy? The Centurion's my missile guy, right? Yes. So... I think I want to put the guy with the better tactician there, and we will go. Command interface initiated. Let's get to fighting. Right, we've got into our mission now. Looks like whatever the item we need to pick up is is right there. So we want to take a look at this map and what we got. Right, we got a nice big ridge here. And then here's the boundary wall. So I think what we're going to do is run over to this ridge, make sure there's nothing down here. If there is, we will have a very good advantage with the ridge. And wow, there's a lot of stuff over here, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're going to run to this ridge and then we'll come at it from this side. Um, just to make sure we don't get a nasty surprise. I don't think there's going to be anything over here, but um, it doesn't take but like an extra half a turn, maybe a full extra turn to come over sideways, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Ready for orders. So, Mr. Centurion, I'm gonna have him start moving forward. Shadowhawk 
since he seems to be about the speediest guy I have, he's just going to come over here and make sure there's nothing down there. There's not, so we can start Copy advancing that. forward. You don't need to be this cautious, but um, I'm going to try and play a little more cautious because we had that one mission earlier where we actually had a pilot die and I we, lost, we had two mechs destroyed in that mission. Yes, Commander. I would like to try and avoid that just a little bit, um, especially since, you know, we've Did missed out on Picked up a blip. one Picked good mech one. and I sold the dragon, but I wasn't honestly going to use that dragon anyway. But I do want to show how to capture that stuff. Aye, aye. On my way. Okay. Time for some combat. Alright. Commando. He's probably got a... Okay, so he's... The commandos um, will either have, like, large laser... Or large laser, medium laser, like he had... Or sometimes you'll see like PPC machine gun, I think. But um, they tend to have one of one of the bigger lasers, either PPC or an actual large laser. All right. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move a mech up here to shoot at him, but also to kind of get a visual to find out what these guys are. So I'm going to move my Shadow Hawk. I want to move him into cover. I also want to see that other guy. I don't know that I can do both. Alright, so we'll just move him here. Location confirmed. I might still get to see what he is. I might just not have a targeting shot on him. Nope, don't get to see what he is. Okay. It's a pretty good shot, so... And this is our guy that we put our new good weapon on. So... Happy about that. That was a very nice volley. Okay, so we will get to see who this... Alright, we got a Wolverine. That is actually worth capturing. So it's good to see a mech worth capturing here. Because we've been using the other Wolverine, and he's actually been doing pretty good. I'd actually never used a Wolverine until this campaign, so. You know what we're going to do? We're going to actually reserve here, let the other guy move up, just to see what he is. A Kataro! I've not used the Kataro either. Wow, that was a big volley. Um, damn. I hate the head hits. Okay, I think what we're going to do, because we don't have a Kataro, is... And that's a badass looking mech. We're going to kill the Wolverine and capture the Kataro here. Or attempt to capture it. Um, but we need to kill the other three mechs first. So... Commander? Let's get the Vindicator over here. There's a very good chance our Vindicator can aim shot kill this commando, so that's why I'm moving him first. Yeah. This torso's only got 34 health. Only two of these lasers need to hit torso to kill him. I think we got two in there. Yep. There he is. We can salvage that. So that's a good kill. I think we next. I think we're gonna want to work on this Wolverine. Standing by. But I want to see how these two are fitted. Medium laser and two little machine guns. AC five. So yeah, we'll kill the Wolverine next. Um, I'm not too worried about little dude over here. I guess we'll just fire the LMRs. 
first. Firing full complement on It's not a very good shot, but. And the green, yep. Yeah. Does he actually have a shot from right here? He does. I don't even have to move for it. So we will just take it. All weapons committed. Nice. And the reason I'm not moving there is because um, we get bulwarked when we don't move. So I'm fine just standing still and taking half damage the next turn. This is a group of mechs. I should just be able to straight Light tank damage, their damage. Commander if I have bulwark, so. Alright, our Centurion is going to go ahead and attack the Wolverine here, because I think we could knock him over, and that'll be a nice little thing. So we did get the knockdown. So now I need to make the decision whether I want to actually try and capture the Wolverine also. Because knocking them down is like half the battle. That is annoying. But. Orders. So. Does not have a shot on the downed guy. I think we'll jump him behind everybody. Jumping. I think we'll aim for a torso and see about possibly Copy that. capturing him. Okay, so we got two injuries on him now. Orders. So I'm gonna jump this guy over here. And we're gonna go into his other arm now. Where's the other torso? 2730. Alright, so I can only deal. Alright, we'll try this. It might kill him, it might not, but we'll see. Alright, it killed him. So, no big deal. He's not the one I'm trying to capture, and I didn't want to spend a lot of time with this guy still up, because he's kind of dangerous. So, that's an okay ending, I guess, for that. Alright, we are going to just walk up and punch this little locust. Acknowledged. Because this will be the quickest way to dispose of him. Ooh. Shooting the guys that move fast is kind of difficult, but so when you can walk up and just punch them, it makes it a lot easier. my SRM, the good SRM guy. Alright, because the Locust is pretty tanked right now, I think what we're going to do is start working on the Kataru. So I'm going to jump this guy directly to his side. I'm going to get in the cover. It's not perfectly to his side, but it's close enough. And we're going to fire a full volley and start destabilizing this guy. Actually, oh, I already moved him. Damn. I should have let him go first. Because he's going to move and get rid of some of this destabilization. Oh, but we got a head hit. That's an awesome free wound. Yep, yeah, I should have waited till he moved. That's a mistake on my part. We should still have no trouble capturing him. Ooh, and he's kept a stability bar. So that's really good for me. Um, Alright, so we want to try and jump this guy over in this line here. 
And I find moving the camera so you're perfectly on the side like this helps with um, lining up where your position is. Engaging jump jets. Okay. And we'll fire. Structure exposed. Receiving you. We're gonna do basically the same thing with this guy. Up high. Hopefully this will knock him down. I'm not sure if it will though. Ooh. We did quite a bit of work. If all of this hit, yeah, we fired all. Targeting for an alpha. So we blew off an arm and got a weapon and it got an explosion. I think that only counts as one wound though. But he's very unsteady. Commander. You know what? We're gonna do a death from above here. Or actually are we? Hold on. Let me target this guy. Hmm, I can't target him. Well, one of my mechs will move, will get to move before him, so I'll knock him down next turn. So, um, my Vindicator is just going to jump over here Confirm. and fire on the Locust. So I don't actually want to shoot the uh, big boy yet. Confirm. That was a nice bit of damage. God, we've taken two head hit injuries. That sucks. Alright. Yes, Commander. So this Shadowhawk's gonna move. Actually. Vindicator. Waiting for orders. Is gonna punch him. On the side. This is a much better idea. Position confirmed. That knocks him down. So this will be his third wound, hopefully a capture, but I doubt it. Nope, that's a capture. We got ourselves a brand new Kataro. So at this point, we just have a Jenner to kill. Or not a Jenner, a Locust, so fire the missiles. Very good. I'm very happy capturing that Kataro. I've heard good things about them, I've just not used one. On my way. It's funny how, uh, as you play through the campaign, especially the aye medium aye. mechs, you kind of, um, a lot of mechs you won't use just because you'll have really good mechs. You'll capture different mechs first, On my way. and you'll make a good build that works for you, and so you'll never actually experience the other mechs. Location confirmed. So. The asset has been secured. Alright, mission ready. successful. Time to get that loot. So good mission. Um it's really unfortunate when we took those two head injuries because we actually played a flawless mission in terms of damage. So those head injuries really suck, but you can't do anything about that. So we're going to take the Kataro, 100%. And then we're going to see if there's anything. I don't see any good weapons, so we're going to take the Commando to complete that mech. Um, well, actually, I think we're going to take the Wolverine, because that's a 55-tonner. Um, we'll have a bet another chance to get one of uh, the commando later, but I think getting the 55 ton back part is going to be better here. Uh, we'll just get, you know, all but three of the pieces of salvage, so there you go. 
we got our commando. But um, thanks guys. When we come back, we'll be doing the next side mission. So see you then. I'm Green Gimp. I'm out.